This tutorial explains how to combine two pandas data frames with the same column names in the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the pandas library. And then in the next step, we have to create some example data frames for the example. And the first data frame that we are going to use in this example is created in lines four to six of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right that a new data set is appearing, which is called data one. And we can print this data set to the bottom right by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data frame, which contains five rows and three columns, which are called call one, call two, and call three. In the next step, we are creating a second data frame in lines nine to 11 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, another data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data two. And we can print this data set to the bottom right as well by running line 12 of the code. And then you can see that we have created another data frame which contains the same column names, call one, call two, and call three, but different values within the data cells. So let's assume that we want to combine these two data frames vertically. Then we can apply the concat function, as you can see in lines 14 to 16 of the code. And within the concat function, we need to specify the names of our two data frames, data one and data two. And then I'm also using the ignore index argument to tell the concat function that I want to create a new index. And I'm also setting the sort argument to be equal to false because I want to keep the original ordering of our columns. So if you run lines 14 to 16 of the code, you can see at the top right that a new data frame is appearing, which is called data concat. And we can print this data frame to the bottom right by running line 17. And then you can see that we have combined our two data frames vertically and you can see that the column names of this new data frame are the same as in the original two input data frames. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.